This is the assessment of listening skills. There are four tasks in the assessment. Before each task, you will be given 30 seconds to read the questions. All the four audios will be played twice. After that, you will be given 10 seconds to check your answers. Let's begin with the test. Task 1 You will listen to the audio on Voynich Manuscripts. Read the questions carefully and choose the correct answer from the options that follow. You have 30 seconds to read the question. A British linguist has cracked the code of a 600-year-old manuscript. This manuscript is deemed to be the most mysterious document in the world and is known as the Voynich Manuscript. Professor Stephen Bax, who teaches applied linguistics at the University of Bedfordshire, and who has decoded the Voynich manuscript says that the manuscript is not a hoax. In the course of his research, he has found the manuscript is probably a treatise on nature and is perhaps in a Near Eastern or Asian language. So far, Professor Bax has been able to decode 10 words of the manuscript using an analytical approach. The manuscript, according to the method of carbon dating, affixes its origin to some time in the 1400s. It was picked up from among second-hand publications in Italy by an antique book dealer. The dealer, Wilfried Voynich, had discovered the manuscript in 1912 and thereafter the find was named after him. Among the words identified by Professor Vonick is the word Taurus alongside a picture of seven stars which seem to be in the pleats. Another word in the script that he has deciphered is the word Cantarion with a picture of the plant Centauri, a herbaceous plant alongside it. The manuscript is full of illustrations of exotic plants, stars and mysterious human figures in addition to the unknown text. Up till this discovery, several scholars and cryptographers had worked on the script but had failed to read even a single letter. Over time, the script had gained quite a reputation and has even been featured in the computer game Assassin's Creed and in the Indiana Jones novels. Many grand theories about it have been proposed. Some even go so far as to say that the manuscript is the secret code of Leonardo da Vinci as a boy. Others ascribe the code to the Cathars or to the lost tribe of Israel and more recently to the Aztecs. You will hear the recording again. A British linguist has cracked the code of a 600-year-old manuscript. This manuscript is deemed to be the most mysterious document in the world and is known as the Voynich Manuscript. Professor Stephen Bax, who teaches applied linguistics at the University 
of Bedfordshire and who has decoded the Voynich manuscript says that the manuscript is not a hoax. In the course of his research, he has found the manuscript is probably a treatise on nature and is perhaps in a Near Eastern or Asian language. So far, Professor Bax has been able to decode 10 words of the manuscript using an analytical approach. The manuscript, according to the method of carbon dating, affixes its origin to some time in the 1400s. It was picked up from among second-hand publications in Italy by an antique book dealer. The dealer, Wilfried Voynich, had discovered the manuscript in 1912 and thereafter the find was named after him. Among the words identified by Professor Vonick is the word Taurus alongside a picture of seven stars which seem to be in the pleats. Another word in the script that he has deciphered is the word Cantarion with a picture of the plant Centauri, a herbaceous plant alongside it. The manuscript is full of illustrations of exotic plants, stars and mysterious human figures in addition to the unknown text. Up till this discovery, several scholars and cryptographers had worked on the script but had failed to read even a single letter. Over time, the script had gained quite a reputation and has even been featured in the computer game Assassin's Creed and in the Indiana Jones novels. Many grand theories about it have been proposed. Some even go so far as to say that the manuscript is the secret code of Leonardo da Vinci as a boy. Others ascribe the code to the Cathars or to the lost tribe of Israel and more recently to the Aztecs. Children, now you have 10 seconds to check your answers. Task 2. You will listen to an audio speech by Indra Nui. Listen to the speech carefully and choose the lines articulated by her. You have 30 seconds to read the question. Children, Indra Krishnamurthy Nui is an Indian-American business executive. She is the chairman and chief executive officer of PepsiCo. She is the one among the world's most powerful women. She delivered the following speech at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on 14th December 2013. She was named one of the 25 greatest living legends by NDTV and was awarded by the then President of India, Mr. Pranav Mukherjee at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Listen to the speech delivered by Indra Nui and answer the questions that follow. Mr. President and NDTV, thank you very much for this incredible honour. Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers says, who you cannot be separated from where you came from. I left India 35 years ago, went to the USA and had tremendous success in the meritocracy. But 
none of that could have happened if i would not have had wonderful upbringing very much here in india so i have a lot to thank india for now my three lessons i would like to share with you first please be a lifelong student you know when we were kids we used to ask questions like why is the sky blue why the birds flying so high but for some reasons as we get older that curiosity goes away and if we are happy with the knowledge we have then we are actually going to a trophy so please remain a lifelong student don't lose that curiosity second whatever you do throw yourself into it throw your head heart and hands into it i look at my job not as a job i look at it as a calling as a passion and i don't care about the hours about the hardships because to me everything is a joy so whatever you do please look upon it as a calling a passion not as as a job not as something temporary the third and the most important one please help others rise greatness comes not from a position but from helping build the future all of us in position of power have an obligation to pull others up you know as i stand here today i look at my responsibility not as accepting an honor i look upon it as accepting a challenge and a responsibility an obligation to actually make it possible for people who are younger to come up and achieve levels of greatness so they too can be on the same stage sometime in the future you will listen to the audio again children indra krishna murthy noi is an indian american business executive she is the chairman and chief executive officer of pepsico she is the one among the world's most powerful women she delivered the following speech at the rashtrapati bhavan on 14th december 2013 she was named one of the 25 greatest living legends by ndtv and was awarded by the then president of india mr pranav mukherjee at the rashtrapati bhavan listen to the speech delivered by indra noi and answer the questions that follow mr president and ndtv thank you very much for this incredible honor malcolm gladwell in his book outliers says who you cannot be separated from where you came from i left india 35 years ago went to the usa and had tremendous success in the meritocracy but none of that could have happened if i would not have had wonderful upbringing very much here in india so i have a lot to thank india for now my three lessons i would like to share with you first please be a lifelong student you know when we were kids we used to ask questions like why is the sky blue why the birds flying so high but for some reasons as we get older that curiosity goes away and if we are happy with the knowledge we have then we are actually going to a trophy so please remain a lifelong student don't lose that curiosity second whatever you do throw yourself into it throw your head heart and hands into it i look at my job not as a job i look at it as a calling as a passion and i don't care about the hours about the hardships because to me everything is a joy so whatever you do please look upon it as a calling a passion not as as a job not as something temporary the third and the most important one please help others rise greatness comes not from a position but from helping build the future 
all of us in position of power have an obligation to pull others up you know as i stand here today i look at my responsibility not as accepting an honor i look upon it as accepting a challenge and a responsibility an obligation to actually make it possible for people who are younger to come up and achieve levels of greatness so they too can be on the same stage sometime in the future you have 10 seconds to check your answers task 3 you will hear two people talking on vegetarianism listen to the content and fill in the blanks with the appropriate word from the passage you have 30 seconds to go through the questions Vegetarianism promotes a natural way of life but despite its implicit message of universal love and non-violence it has not spread as it should have this may be because it usually is an inward looking habit and is best cultivated in the mind leading a vegetarian way of life helps the animal kingdom to coexist with man the animals supply milk manure and energy this has been centered to the indian culture for thousands of years a vegetarian lifestyle is natural multifaceted and helps self preservation in a healthy way food and health are closely related In India a vegetarian is usually a lacto vegetarian in the western world vegetarians are subdivided as vegans pure vegetarians who do not take any food coming from animal kingdom lacto vegetarians who use dairy products of the vegetable kingdom and lacto over vegetarians the last category includes eggs in addition to dairy products the western science of food considers food as something to sustain only the human body whereas the indian science considers food as something which sustains not only the body but also maintains the purity of heart mind and the soul thus an item of food which is injurious to the mind is not considered to be fit for consumption even if it is otherwise beneficial to the body or satisfies the taste indian food science does not give so much importance to protein or even to the balanced diet but it gives importance to food that increases the strength of the body and its virility vegetarian foods provide an infinite variety of flavors whereas non vegetarian foods have hardly any taste of their own in fact non vegetarian foods have to be seasoned with ingredients from the vegetable kingdom to make them palatable in most sports disciplines Vegetarians lead in endurance tests. You are what you eat is an old saying, but it is a fact that it is the food that makes the man. The food we eat, its quality, its quantity, its timing and combination is of utmost importance to healthy life. It is significant to note that In the USA nearly 30 to 40 million people have adopted vegetarianism 
in the last decade. More and more intellectuals in the UK, Germany, France, Switzerland, Italy, Israel, Mexico, Russia and, it, and its former allies are gradually turning to vegetarian diet not only on ethical and humanitarian grounds but also for health and ecological reasons. You will hear the recording again. Vegetarianism promotes a natural way of life, but despite its implicit message of universal love and non-violence, it has not spread as it should have. This may be because it usually is an inward-looking habit and is best cultivated in the mind. Leading a vegetarian way of life helps the animal kingdom to coexist with man. The animals supply milk, manure and energy. This has been centered to the Indian culture for thousands of years. A vegetarian lifestyle is natural, multifaceted and helps self-preservation in a healthy way. Food and health are closely related. In India, a vegetarian is usually a lacto-vegetarian. In the Western world, vegetarians are subdivided as vegans, pure vegetarians who do not take any food coming from animal kingdom. Lacto-vegetarians who use dairy products of the vegetable kingdom and lacto-over-vegetarians, the last category, includes eggs in addition to dairy products. The Western science of food considers food as something to sustain only the human body, whereas the Indian science considers food as something which sustains not only the body, but also maintains the purity of heart, mind and the soul. Thus, an item of food which is injurious to the mind is not considered to be fit for consumption, even if it is otherwise beneficial to the body or satisfies the taste. Indian food science does not give so much importance to protein or even to the balanced diet but it gives importance to food that increases the strength of the body and its virility. Vegetarian foods provide an infinite variety of flavors, whereas non-vegetarian foods have hardly any taste of their own. In fact, non-vegetarian foods have to be seasoned with ingredients from the vegetable kingdom to make them palatable. In most sports disciplines, vegetarians lead in endurance tests. You are what you eat is an old saying, but it is a fact that it is the food that makes the man. The food we eat, its quality, its quantity, its timing and combination is of utmost importance to healthy life. It is significant to note that in the USA, nearly 30 to 40 million people have adopted vegetarianism in the last decade. More and more intellectuals in the UK, Germany, France, Switzerland, Italy, Israel, Mexico, Russia and, it, and its former allies are gradually turning to vegetarian diet not only on ethical and humanitarian grounds, but also for health and ecological reasons. You have 10 seconds to check your answers. Task 4 a short audio will be played wherein there is a passage on obesity issues on animals. Read the given questions and write the answer carefully. 
You have 30 seconds to read the questions. If you thought that overweight was a problem among humans alone, then think again. A recent study carried out in UK on the state of obesity among pets revealed startling facts. According to this report, there are almost 45% pets in the country that are overweight. According to the findings, what causes this overweight problem is the feeding of leftovers. In fact, this custom is regarded as the biggest factor causing overweight according to 200 vets and 100 pet owners. The report found that nearly 45% of the dogs were overweight, while the obesity rate among cats was slightly lower. At 40%, almost 1 in 3 rabbits, 28%, and guinea pigs fell into the obese category, while 15% of caged birds were also found to be too fat. Of their owners, what the report revealed was that two out of every three owners believed their pets were the correct weight. Around three in four vets believe that pet obesity is on the rise. When contacted by researchers, vets came forward with the opinion that the root cause of pet overweight was that the owners of these animals and birds were not following feeding guidelines. Along with feeding them with leftovers, these pets were not given adequate exercise. This problem was most marked among dog owners, where also 78% of them were found to be indulged in by their owners. Besides lethargy, and eating problems, these overweight pets suffer from a myriad of answers. health issues, according to Zara Boland, founder Vet Voice. These animals run the risk of osteoarthritis, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. There is nothing cuddly about an obese pet, she adds. Obese animals have the same symptoms as obese humans. Their obesity causes them discomfort and illness and can cause result in both emotional distress and financial pressures for owners and has been proven to reduce actual life length. These vets say that they are committed to continuing pushing the pet health message until overweight pets are no longer an increasing and widespread con concern. To keep their pets in the best of health, these vets advise their owners to exercise their dog for 30 minutes twice daily for dull dogs and 40 minutes for cats. The recording will be played again. If you thought that overweight was a problem among humans alone, then think again. A recent study carried out in UK on the state of obesity among pets revealed startling facts. According to this report, there are almost 45% pets in the country that are overweight. According to the findings, 
what causes this overweight problem is the feeding of leftovers in fact this custom is regarded as the biggest factor causing overweight according to 200 vets and 100 pet owners the report found that nearly 45% of the dogs were overweight while the obesity rate among cats was slightly lower at 40% almost one in 3 rabbits 28% and guinea pigs fell into the obese category while 15% of caged birds were also found to be too fat of their owners what the report revealed was that two out of every three owners believed their pets were the correct weight around 3 in 4 vets believe that pet obesity is on the rise when contacted by researchers vets came forward with the opinion that the root cause of pet overweight was that the owners of these animals and birds were not following feeding guidelines along with feeding them with leftovers these pets were not given adequate exercise this problem was most marked among dog owners where also 78% of them were found to be indulged in by their owners besides lethargy and eating problems these overweight pets suffer from a myriad of health issues according to zara boland founder vet voice these animals run the risk of osteoarthritis cardiovascular disease and diabetes there is nothing cuddly about an obese pet she adds obese animals have the same symptoms as obese humans their obesity causes them discomfort and illness and can cause result in both emotional distress and financial pressures for owners and has been proven to reduce actual life length these vets say that they are committed to continuing pushing the pet health message until overweight pets are no longer an increasing and widespread con- concern to keep their pets in the best of health these vets advise their owners to exercise their dog for 30 minutes twice daily for dull dogs and 40 minutes for cats you have 30 seconds to check your answers This concludes our listening assessment conducted by CBSE